As you know, me and Kurama had a special connection. We shared our chakra and we had some kind of fusion. His death affected my chakra balance and myself. For those reasons, I decided to go to Mount Myobuku with the great toad sage, Gamabunta and others. I wanted to recover my chakra balance. During training, I felt a new energy inside of me. It seemed like I already had that power. Now I feel the true power. Hello, Naruto. Hello, Sasuke. I wanted to see you, to talk to you about something. Yes, Naruto. What do you want to say? As you know, I recently activated Hashirama's Sage Mode. And that helped me to see him, Hagoromo, and Ashura. So they shared the power with me so I got a lot stronger. Yes, that <gasps> happened in the previous episodes of this animation. So if you guys haven't seen it, please watch it. Yes, link will be in the description of this video. <gasps> and don't forget to like and subscribe this awesome channel. Okay, I think they got it. Now let's talk about your power. Okay, so when I saw Hagoromo, I asked about you. I asked them for help to get a power for you too. Sounds interesting. Then what did he tell you? He said that you must learn Snake Sage Mode in Yuriuchi Cave. That's why I called Orochimaru. Hello, Sasuke. I will help you to learn this power so you'll get stronger. Okay, perfect. So you two can leave. Orochimaru will give you a prosthetic arm made by Hashirama's DNA. We will meet you after you learn that Sage Mode. Hello, Sasuke. So what did you learn with Orochimaru during these three months? Hello. We went to Ryuchi Cave and meet other snakes. I trained so hard during these three months. It was so hard, but after all this work, I managed to enter the Sage Mode. Now I will demonstrate to you my power and what I have learned during this time. Hello, Sasuke. How are you? Madara? Where am I? How I got here? This is a subconscious dimension. You got here because you got Chakra of Hashirama through the prosthetic arm, and we managed to get you here. Yes, that's right. You got here from my power. I don't know if your friend told you, but Naruto asked us to give you part of our power so you can become a lot more stronger. Hello, Sasuke. Do you remember me? We came here to share with you our chakra, so you can become stronger. I want to introduce to you my son, Indra Utsutsuki. Is that Indra? Leader and creator of the Uchiha clan? It's a pleasure for me to see you. For me too, Sasuke. I heard a lot of stories about you, and I want to help you. I hope our chakras will help you to get stronger. Thank you so much. I will share with you all my experience and Uchiha power, so I hope you will make a good use of it. I will also share with you my Senju power and my experience too. I will share with you my Senjutsu and Six Path power. As you know, I am the creator of the clan, and everything comes from me. You will get part of the power of every existing clan member. And for the last... I am going to share with you my Utsutsuki and Six Path power. You might get a lot stronger, but I will tell you the same thing as I told Naruto. Do not overuse it, because it might kill you. Use it in the moment when you need this the most, and be careful. Of course I will. Okay then, we will start giving you the energy. Now I feel the real power. Hi all, it's Lucas and the Alley again with you, and I've been discussing a lot lately about Naruto Uzumaki's possible future power that he might get in the Boruto anime. But for some reason I totally forgot about his best friend and alternate Shadow Hokage, Sasuke Uchiha. The new possible power of the last of the Uchiha clan might get is what we're going to talk about today. And I ask you in advance to like and subscribe this channel for more. In the past, Sasuke Uchiha was incredibly strong, but after losing one of his eyes, the Rinnegan and the Eternal Shutting Gun, a little Uchiha here got a bit, he's got pretty weak. 
which of course affected his abilities and therefore his battles. He's gonna lose a lot. And knowing Sasuke, he has a better chance to regain his power back. Of course, Sasuke has a lot of options on how to upgrade as well, ranging from new eyes to meeting Madara and Indra, but today I want to talk about the Hermit Mode in Sinjutsu, a technique that essentially Sasuke used to have. To start with the fact that in reality Sasuke once had Senjutsu and even actively used it. I'm talking about the cursed Orochimaru tag that Sasuke received when he was 12 years old. The seal was created based on Joga's improved genomes which with the help of natural energy can transform into an incredible strong being. Sasuke was very active in the battle with Itachi because of his strong power and the fact that he was able to transform into a powerful being with the help of Joga's genome. The Senjutsu can make the increasing of physical strength, speed, endurance, reflexes, perception and stamina of the user. The users of Ninjutsu, Taijutsu and Genjutsu become more and more stronger and powerful. In in addition, Senjutsu works incredibly well against Utsutsukis, and in fact, it's their weakness on par with Fuinjutsu. So in Boruto, where more and more shinobi with Utsutsuki strength are emerging, not having Senjutsu, it's a bit… it's incredibly stupid. At the very least, this seal could really boost Sasuke and help him fight against certain enemies, like the Otsutsukis. I would love to see what Sasuke would look like in the second stage as an adult. I think it would look incredibly fancy and cool. But what could be better than a copy? Of course, the original. I'm talking about the Sage Transformation or Hermit Mode. These modes are much better than the Cursed Seal and with them, Sasuke would be able to reach the, a completely different level. Oh, come on bro, you know, you know what I mean. Sasuke could totally go to the Ryuchi cave to learn how to use Senjutsu properly and master the perfect hermit snake mode. Because number one, Sasuke is very good with snakes and everyone there respects him. Second, Sasuke already has experience in using Senjutsu, which means he could easily master it perfectly. Plus, Sasuke is a genius shinobi and would definitely be able to achieve the same thing as Naruto did. And third, Sasuke now has a pure heart and good intentions, so the Great Serpent Sage could take him as an apprentice, for even Kabuto who craved power, he took and helped him become much stronger, but Orochimaru did not, he refused him. Probably that's why the White Serpent of Konoha created his seal, which became an analog of the Sage transformation. Huh? Good thinking. That's why I think Sasuke can and must learn from the Ryuchido cave and reach a higher bar in terms of strength. Kabuto was a medium level spy trained by Sage and became one of the strongest at the time of the war. He had such strong abilities that only the two Uchiha brothers were able to defeat him. And if it wasn't for Izanami Itachi, it wouldn't have worked and Kabuto would have easily overpowered them all. Kabuto being his cave could endlessly use the Hermit Serpent mode, which of course made him practically unbeatable, because he had all the same ammunitions as Naruto, only even bigger and stronger. He could also infuse natural energy into inanimate objects, giving them life, which is very much like the power of Hagoromo himself, Kabuto himself compared himself to. So there is no need to doubt Kabuto's power in Hermit Snake mode, if he wanted to do some something evil right now, it's unlikely Naruto and Sasuke would have been able to stop him with his current strength. And imagine what a thing could get Sasuke Uchiha in one moment, a man who is willing to die and kill anyone for the sake of the village. I think you do understand what that means. I think it would take Sasuke even less than a week to mess Senjutsu and if that happened, I'm sure Naruto would go apart in strength because no one wants to fall behind for sure. Also, Kishimoto likes the balance among Naruto and Sasuke in terms of strength and if you recall, they always apparated together. Sasuke still possesses the ability to summon snakes so he's able to contact Sage and ask him for help. Besides, when Boruto helped steal Garaga, who was raging in their cave, Snake simply can't refuse Sasuke. This is a very possible scenario because there aren't any experiments or incredible powers and stuff like that. Here is simply power which must be obtained through training, like what they normally should do, no shortcuts. I would have been able to get them to go back to their senses even if they had not been trained. And that's the way Naruto fans like it. Agree that now in Boruto many characters are too fast even without training. It would have been so much better if Sasuke Uchiha by his own example showed that not all is lost and there's a point in training and diligence. 
If you agree with me, then write about it down below in the comments. I wonder how many Naruto and Boruto fans will support my opinion. Anyway, that's it for now. What do you think of Sasuke's future strength? Interested to hear your opinion. Don't forget to be active under the video, because now it is important. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!